Up for sale, 1981 Pontiac Trans Am. I'm going to walk around and tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 81 Pontiac Trans Am, finished in blue with blue interior. Finally, a different color combination on the car, one that I rarely see. Um, very unmolested car at that. First off, all original sheet metal. Of course, original 301, turbo 350 trans, power steering, power front disc brakes, power windows, tilt, cruise, factory AC. And as always, you know, go around and tell you everything I do know about it, point out anything I do see, fire it up, and drive it. So, of course, we will start here in the front, as always. And uh, like I said, beautiful color with the light blue chicken on it. And uh, the medium bluish interior. You'll see when I get there. I I've seen, you know, I've seen reds. I've seen a ton of whites in this year. I just had an 80 that was a white. Finally blue. Something different. Um, anyway, you know, starting here on the nose, of course, made of plastic. Occasionally, you'll get some little checks on there. Some little marks uh, in this, you know, front section. It's just... It's common, it's gonna happen. And a big, bigger touch up there, a couple marks though. Uh, but the quality of the car is all there. The condition all the way around is there. Uh, again, being original sheet metal, it's always a bonus. Um, hood seems to line up very nicely to the nose, as well as the nose to the fender. Hood to the top of the fenders is always, you know, this is what we're looking for here. Oh, look a little bee, hello. Um, with the shaker hood and the TA 4.4 4.9 on it, excuse me. Uh, but I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to open the hood real quick. Okay. Yeah. Voila. Very unmolested in here. I mean, it's even got the smog pump in there. That that alone being in here is a sign for you know the, the how the car has been maintained over time anybody would have at any point just taken that right out uh ac you see the power front or the brake booster for the power front disc brakes power steering pump you see the uh you know the snorkels filled in there you know that all that is there you see the crisp just just an absolute mint stamping there on the original fender and i know the other one is not as mint but there so again you know bonus all around uh, the AC is hooked up, and it get upgraded with an aluminum radiator. It's just a bonus. Nice in here. Nice stamping there. 4.9 liter on the sticker there. Um, and here, here's an interesting thing I learned. You see how nice this is in here. You know, it gets crinkled very easily, you know, because it's flimsy metal. And obviously, being original sheet metal, you know, it wasn't hitting the front. Just little things you pick up on over time. Trim tag is in place, as always. And you see even the cruise is hooked up. I haven't tested whether it works or not, but it's there, it's all there. Looks like maybe the upgraded seven blade fan as well, which is just nice. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, turnkey, fires right up, dries very nice. There you go. 522 battery, so the battery's new. One year old, I forgot it was 23. Uh, it's got the silver snowflake rims on there, which I think look very nice with the blue. You throw a different color on there, it kind of contrasts it negatively, but the silver just, it's a nice accent. <clears throat> nice straight body. Again, being original panels, everything fits up the way that you want it to. Then there's a couple marks right here in the paint. Nothing else like that on the car. A little door edge chip there. Another one there. Uh, but the chicken's nice. And top of the car that you see there. Looks to be nice as well. A little bit of <clears throat> a little bit of raising right there on the, the pad behind the vent. Uh, I also have brand new glass for both sides. Uh, you know, I guess he didn't like the streaks and he didn't do it, but I have them there included, which is, you know, nice. You see a couple little chips down on the door edge there. One more there. And uh, again, you see nice fitment here. And again, as always, you know, a couple marks down here. 
Um, seat covers are new, front and rear. Door panels are new. Carpet is sort of new. Um, anyway, once again, you know, talking about a really just rust-free car, how nice the finish is in there. With both stickers, which I did take pictures of. That stamping right there. And again, new weather stripping. Also power door locks, which I never tested. Just gonna be honest. Power windows do work. You might as well find out together if the door locks work. I mean, does it really matter? <clears throat> One way or another. The clock works. Is it on? Is that on? No, so the door locks don't work. Oh well. Doesn't matter. 88269 original miles. Probably the original steering wheel. Light cracking on it, but nice, you know. At the point where it's like, why change it out if it's presentable original? <clears throat> uh, I have the original radio in the trunk. I also have a silver plate here, like the match the dash. If you wanted to put that on, I just thought the black was clean. <sighs> anyway. Carrying on. Even the back door panels have been redone. Your back sail panels have been redone. Where the seat belts go into are new. Uh, headliner is new. Visors are new. So again, all that's beautiful. This trim here is excellent, actually. It looks really, really nice. That window looks nice, too. Now the sun's coming out. Really get a good idea of the paint here. Of course, dual exhaust tips. It's a stainless steel. It goes into the back buffler. It's, I think it's Flowmaster. Sounds really, really nice. See a little, see a little crack right there, and a touch up right there, but the rest of it looks nice. A little touch up right there. The trunk lid looks like it fits nicely. Grab the key again. We'll open up the trunk, and of course, being original sheet metal, it has its original trunk pan. Radio, service manual, new weather stripping, nice finish in here. Trunk lid looks super nice with the uh, stamping there. And it is original quarters. Yeah. Yeah. Original exactly what we're looking for. Very, very nice. See how nice it lines up there, all the way down. Again, some you know little stone chip stuff like that on this panel, as always. Door fits perfect to the rocker, and really nice to the fender. I gotta reset my camera. Hold on. There we go. See just a little touch up right there. Again, just like I always say, really nice. Door panel new. Oh. I thought something might have been in there. 
this weather stripping looks to be new as well, which is nice. And uh, yeah, it will be up for sale later today on my website, nextgenclassiccars.com and the eBay. Both links, there's a little smudge here, you see, but uh, both links will be in the description of this video. If you'd like to check it out, let us know. 81 Trans Am. 301 automatic power steering power disc brakes power windows ac 88,000 miles tilt pretty unmolested car and i know you've seen that as i go around it um but yeah we are going to fire it up now and drive it and then hop in and drive it around thank you i'm ready Going slow as molasses out there. I thought Grandma was driving. I like to take care of the cars. Oh, I know. I saw you rip around in the hot rod 20 minutes ago. Well, some cars just take off. Uh huh. It reminds me of the uh, gold one. We got from Tony. Oh, how nice it drives, smooth, stuff like that. Turnkey. Document it. Document it. Basically drives like this, but going higher, or faster, or whatever. Stupid coming out here. I don't know. Just go around them. They're confused. They both don't know. Look at them facing each other. Okay, now I'll drive the Roadster, so 